Hello everyone and welcome back to tutorial number four on image processing in MATLAB. So in this uh, video we are going to learn how to apply various filters in uh, image filters in MATLAB. Okay let's read the image first color.jpg and let me just show this image to you. Okay I'll run this. So this is the image which we have already seen earlier. Um, so first what we will be doing is converting this to gray b equal to rgb to gray of a yeah so now you should be able to see the gray image well uh, this is working cool now uh, let us apply this filter h is equal to uh, this is called an averaging filter and it looks like this one 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 and it's divided by 9 because sum of all these numbers is 9 so that is what uh, is an averaging filter if you want to learn more uh, just search online I'm not going to go deeper into this right now and if you want to apply this filter on an image then you have to do this C is your output image which is I am filter of your image comma the filter right so let's just see how it is uh, see right okay and uh, I don't know if you can see that in the video but this is more blurred than before and uh, this can also be written right away as ones of 3 comma 3 which forms a 3 by 3 matrix which is uh, filled with ones so that is like a shortcut in MATLAB you can just see here oops yeah so it's all ones uh, okay so now uh, let us run this and you should get the same result and if you are not able to see a significant blur here let me use a bigger number like 9 and this should have a significant amount of blur and I hope you can see it now this has a lot of blur okay so now uh, that is how you blur images okay um, and next uh, let's do something else let us do edge detection and uh, let's do Sobel edge detection and uh, for people who don't know that just search online because I'm not going to go deeper because that would take a lot of time but this is the show, uh, Sobel edge matrix and let me uh, comment this control R is for comment okay and okay so uh, I am show of C now let us see how this looks okay now you can see that the edges are more prominent than other places and uh, this is an edge detector and you can also uh, uh, change the values in this matrix to realize different kinds of filters in MATLAB uh, for now let us use another inbuilt function in MATLAB just say c equal to edge of b just look at how easy it is just say c equal to edge of b and you get the edges in b okay now let us look uh, uh, a little more at um, that function edge and if you look at the help um, I don't know how if I can zoom this but uh, I hope you can see this in the video it is it has Sobel edge detector privet Roberts log and you have so many detectors and I like canny edge detector I use it for many applications and by default it's gonna take Sobel but uh, yeah just just look into the other parameters change the thresholds if you're not getting the results as desired you need to change all these values to get your uh, to get what you want so let us try to apply um, uh, canny edge detector and it looks like this okay and if you uh, you can just try others privet Uh, okay so it's here and I think this kind of looks good so um, and to detect the circles you have a function MATLAB called I am half circles you maybe you can search that but I'm not going to show this in this video and if you need to do more enhancement to this image you can uh, just type it in the next line you can say um, uh, control R this comment C uh, D equal to if you want to dilate the image you can say uh, bw morph of c comma dilate 
uh, two times and just show me D okay yeah this looks good and yeah you can see the image so all you have to do is uh, look at various functions for image enhancement and apply that one uh, depending on your application and uh, that's it for this video thanks for watching